welcome to my latest podcast series, One Life. My name's Terence Wallace, and I'm the writer and publisher of a weekly essay entitled Indelible Adventures, and I'm your host. This podcast series sets out to prompt and challenge your thinking about life and what it means to really live your life. I'll share with you my insights and personal experiences with the sole objective of getting you to reflect and think about your approach to living your best life. So let's get started. This week's episode is entitled, Master of My Fate. These are the words to one of my favorite passages. Master of my fate, the captain of my soul. This incredibly powerful verse from the poet William Ernest Henley, who understood the trials and tribulations of life as he battled tuberculosis and ongoing health issues his entire life, penned them in his seminal work, Invictus. In essence, I am the master of my fate, the captain of my soul, means that it's up to me to determine what my future will bring. This verse squarely places me in the driver's seat of my life. I take full responsibility for my life and everything that happens in it. There is no one to blame or finger point to if things go awry. Nope, it's all me. This verse is empowering and true. For me personally, it wasn't until later in my life that I finally figured out that I actually controlled my life, and that if I wanted to live a life on my terms, I could. I just needed to be courageous enough to do it. We sometimes feel that we don't have control of our lives, and therefore we don't have the requisite freedoms to live life on our terms. Now this can be as simple as feeling trapped in an unrewarding job while knowing all the while that you have to still pay the bills and support your family. This, as you can imagine, eats away at you. I've been there. I've lived it. Perhaps it's a maturity thing, or perhaps it's an inflection point in our lives. But whatever it is, it makes us strong and gives us one of those aha moments when everything changes. Some might categorize this as a midlife crisis, but rather than seeing it in a negative light, it's quite the opposite. My personal inflection point came with the culmination of a number of things. The loss of my dad, the unraveling of my marriage, and a job that took me away from my kids without any opportunity to change. I realized that if anything was going to change, then it was up to me to make the change. The big decisions in front of me were leaving my unhealthy and unhappy marriage, leaving my toxic workplace, and choosing a new path forward. Isn't it surprising that everything seems to happen at once? I also had to be strong enough to accept that I didn't have a safety net and that with all of the change that was required, it would be on my shoulders alone. Clearly, my first consideration had to be for the emotional welfare of Zach and Sam. All these decisions didn't come lightly. In fact, it was over a two-year period that I eventually worked my way through each of the issues in front of me. It also served as the most challenging period in my life emotionally. The tricky part is that I was having to make these big decisions without any guidance, literally just following my gut and survival instincts. Now I know this might sound a little flaky, but when you open yourself up to the universe, things just happen. I literally surrendered myself and followed my heart, which allowed me to open up in a way that I didn't expect. Things just started to happen. I decided to leave the corporate world behind and start my own business and not to rely on others to control my working life. This was huge. The best part is that opportunities now began to find me 
and I was much happier and much more engaged. With this, I began to find my identity again. My mojo was back. Gaining my personal confidence back took time, but it's been the cornerstone of my revival. However, I should warn you, as this can be addictive, and that what comes with it is a realization that you don't need anyone in your life, nor anyone to change you. You could just be you. This independence and change in mindset was like a breath of fresh air. I just can't imagine my life if I hadn't had the courage to take stock and listen to those powerful words, I am the master of my fate, the captain of my soul. No matter where you are in your life, these are words to live by, if nothing more than to listen to them and let them soak in. Not surprisingly, it feels like I'm just getting started. If you'd like to learn more about Indelible Adventures and the products and services we provide, please take a moment to visit the website at www.indelibleadventures.com Indelible Adventures is one word. Thanks for listening and look forward to hosting you again real soon. All the best.